This is my very first forklift. I ended up trading a snowmobile for it. It's quite old, but they don't make things like they used to. And uh, they built these old Clark forklifts. They built them to last forever. Let's see how many bolts we can snap off here. Not too bad. Maybe this whole cap can unscrew. There we go. Beautiful. Everything we're doing, guys, is for the first time for me as well, so it'll be the first time for both of us. Now we can get to the wiring. All the wires are pretty much exposed. I want to continue to tear off these panels so we can get more into it because I'm going to have to lift the head eventually, so I might as well just get to it now. Let's go ahead and start taking off the rest of these side panels, and if we have enough time at the end of the night here, We'll start working on this big top plate here. Okay, so we should be pretty much clear to get this panel up out of here, but I noticed the throttle pedal, which is this guy right here, that will not pull through the uh, panel here because there's not a big enough slot for the pedal to go through. So we're gonna have to disconnect the linkage right there at that joint. We'll knock that pin out of there and then the linkage will come with this bottom plate here and we should be able to pull it up and out of there. Surprisingly, looks like this pin is uh, moving well enough. Then it should come right out of here, no problem. Unless you gotta take this clutch arm off, which could be a possibility. I really hate to do that because I don't know how easy it's gonna come off, but we might just have to. You should only have to loosen that. A lot of times on something like this, you'll see that the shaft actually has like a notch for the bolt to go through. But I don't think that's the case here because it seems like the bolt is too far away from the shaft to uh, be doing that. It's wiggling.
Okay, there we go. And we're not gonna lose our place because it is keyed. So we should be all set when we get ready to put that back on. Okay, now let's see if we can get this thing out of here without that clutch pedal being in the way. There we go. Now we can slide this back down. So no dirt gets in the steering shaft. All right, guys, I think I got about as far as I want to get on here tonight. It's 7 o'clock, and I got to work in the morning, so I will meet you guys back out here tomorrow. Do a quick recap on where we're at and what we're going to do next. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, well, it's the next day now. Today, we're going to be trying to get this top panel off here, um, this whole main panel that covers the engine bay itself. That way, I can get to the top of the engine and to all the wiring and all the main engine components. Um, that way, I can check them out, replace what's worn, and so that I can get down to the head so I can pull the head off and replace the head gasket. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, these gauges will have to come out. So I'm gonna have to disconnect all the wiring and the oil line here for oil pressure gauge and pop all these gauges out, or at the very least, just disconnect them all so that they can come out with the uh, top plate here. The other thing I'm gonna have to disconnect is the starter solenoid, which comes out underneath this button right here. And right up underneath here is the starter solenoid. So I'm gonna have to just take that off or disconnect the wires and take it off as well with the top plate. Um, and then the last major thing is these control levers are gonna have to get disconnected from underneath. So right underneath here is where they connect to this control valve. I'm just gonna have to pull the pins out of here where these arms connect to. And uh, once I do that, I should be able to keep the levers connected to the top plate here and pull that out as well with the top plate. But that's what we're gonna be working on today. So let's get to it. So I'm not even gonna waste any time uh, disconnecting all these wires. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them all because it all needs to be fully rewired anyway. This one here is the other side of the voltage regulator and it was completely broken off of the ignition. That's where they had it going to. So I gotta figure out what's going on with that and uh, if this voltage regulator even works or not. This old ignition out of here. You just see how bad those wires were. Completely frayed, every single one of them. It totally exposed and completely falling apart. This right here is the amp gauge, amp meter. Get them cut off. This one here is for the fuel sending unit. We already disconnected that from the top of the tank and I've already cut the positive wire going to it from the ignition. All right, now with all the wiring out of the way, I gotta remove this oil line here going to the oil pressure gauge. And that comes down here, down through by the alternator here. And right here, there's a connection where the two hoses connect together, which makes it nice and easy because I can actually get to this. And the other end of this hose obviously goes to the engine block, which is pretty difficult to get at. So I'm gonna go ahead and pinch off each end of this hose, or at least the end that I think is gonna have the most oil in it. And then we'll go ahead and disconnect that. I plan on replacing this top hose here because it's all beat up. So I'm just going to go ahead and use some needle nose pliers on it. And look at that. I'm trying to remove the fittings and the hose is completely broken half. That was exactly why I was gonna replace that top hose. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and get these starter solenoid cables out of the way. That way I can access the pins here for the control levers going to the manifold. This other one's gonna be a little bit tricky though. I can't really see it from this angle.
Okay, so now we got the control levers completely disconnected. So now I believe all I gotta do is disconnect the manifold itself where it mounts to the top plate. So it should just be four bolts. You can see one of them right here. Uh, four bolts, four nuts, and hopefully this thing will just drop down off of the plate and just kind of rest there. All right, well that wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it was gonna be. It's actually able to reach all of those bolts. As you can see here, the manifold's completely loose off of the top plate there. So now all we gotta do is unbolt all the main bolts here. Um, there's probably gonna be like eight of them. And we should be able to just lift this entire top plate right off. Is it loose? Oh yeah. So now, we should be able to just lift this thing right off. All right, I'm happy. Now I can finally get to this entire engine and fully go through everything. So now we can really start picking away at this thing and uh, getting into it. All right guys, so now that we've got all the cover panels off the forklift and everything is fully exposed, I think it's a good time to end part one of this video and we will continue on in the next video, either doing a head gasket or some other project. We might even pull the carb off. Um, we're just gonna take this step by step and part by part. So if you guys are interested in seeing this entire series, I'm gonna have a full playlist that I'm making on this forklift. So if you guys wanna see the whole process start to finish, uh, be sure to check the playlist. So that's gonna be about it for this video, guys. Stay tuned, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.